Great Shakes, that's a great name. We in Palm Springs with Clay, man. Hey, that's the intro. Let's see what the outro does. I don't even know. How you doing, man? Well, how are you? Good. Really? Appreciate yeah, that. Hi. That's legendary. Ooh, let's go. This is, first of all, it smells amazing. Thank you. This reminds me of like an old like pirate ship, no cap. Just like that, real smoothly, right on it, going right to the marshmallow they got. You know, some brand new s'mores, homemade in-house, you ain't never seen that before, we need it. Yeah, oh, bro. Graham crackers hit it off well, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. At the end of the day, these marshmallows are gas. They really make them in-house. I'm not sure how she said it's a complicated process. I can't know it all. I don't need to know it all because it tastes as good. It has a little more texture than a regular marshmallow, you heard? It's nice, light, creamy, straight to the face. I take the whole shot, Ziki, bruh. In-house donuts, bruh. They're cooking everything I like in-house, like sugar, bruh, bruh. They got a sugar factory in the cut. Donut, light and fluffy, a little kick of like a lemon in there, bruh. I don't know what type of tree they growing in the back, but. Oh yeah, posture fixture, bruh. Rarely do I sit up all the way. So you know it's real when I do that. That's crazy, bro. Smacking the marshmallows here, bro. Come here for the marshmallows. Forget all the rest. I mean, don't forget all the rest, but get all the rest. All right, I got the Oreo cookie with caramel swirl. Wait, how'd you drink this? <laughs> pull a little bit, pull a little bit. You got it. It's oh, thick. Yeah. Like, it is so good. Like, and then I also get a donut. Oh, wow. He was not lying. So soft. I don't usually drink shakes, but I would drink this shake. I would. Thank you. So I got the coffee malt, in-house made coffee and everything. And since I saw your marshmallows, I got my own because I was like, oh, I really like that, but I want to try something different. Mmm. You really can taste the coffee in there. And I got a donut too. Hello. It's like a snack and a shake, and then what we've all been waiting for. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. Delicious. Wow. As well. Stay eating, bro. All right, now we're gonna have the pineapple dough whip. It's made famous in Disneyland, but we serve it here in Great Chase and Palm Springs. Ooh, the exclusive. <laughs> she on it. She in and out, two lines, bing, bang, boom. In the credits, Jessica. Bro. Ooh, what? Tangy, bro. This is kind of like if a pineapple met a lime and like conversated, bro. <laughs> or like gave him a hug. A strong hug, though. Man, I'm hyped. Date chick in hand, she's happy. I'm the type of dude on camera, so you know I asked ahead of time, I wouldn't do that. Listen, great chicks, Palm Springs, legendary spot. I guess Mercy got hired, I don't know. Everything's fire here. I would say shakes, man, I'm going 9.2. Tap in, if you think I'm wrong, you gotta prove me wrong. What's up, y'all? Make sure you drink water today. Subscribe below, all that good stuff. We're here, still in Palm Springs. Blue Coyote, a staple in the community. They were founded in 1992, bruh. And that's crazy, bruh. They've been here forever. They're known for their wild margaritas. Let's get y'all right to the table, bruh. See what they got. I think the really cool thing about this place is that it's outside, and it's not like outside, like they have to make an outside patio for yeah, you because nice. of the times. It's like, very nice, Built super outside. great ambiance. Mm -hmm. Nice, like to be around plants and yeah. enjoy the waterfall, like beautiful. It definitely like takes you, it, it takes you to a different vibe. Yeah, vibe. Like you walk in and it's like you're in a different country. All right, so Ruth can tell off rip if a chip is made in house. I'm trying to get to that level in life. Mm. I ain't there yet. Be like, I love chips and salsa. Like, I'm from Texas, store. so you know, Texas is a big thing. Mm. Okay, this salsa, it's so good. It has like a bit of a sweet tang to it. All right, like I said, we have the pollo cilantro, you get black beans and rice. It's a chicken breast roll with corn tortilla, and you get some jalapeno cream sauce on it. We got the grilled mahi mahi fish tacos. You get rice and black beans as well. We have the chili enchiladas on the, on the left side. A little bit of pico de gallo, we call uh, tres hombres. There's onions, tomatoes, and cilantro. And you get the tan pico. pico. You get New Year's steak. Seven ounce of New Year's steak. You get cheese enchilada. With the rice and uh, black beans. And you get some cotija cheese on top. I am here for this. I'm excited. Right. Thank you so much. You enjoy, okay? Thank you, my brother. Huh? Miles, you start. He's going to have the, a taste of the fish tacos. Fish tacos. I got to tell you, I have the whole fish in there. It's not like a little. A little baby fish. fish. Yeah. They really give you the fish situation. 
Okay, fun fact, Miles does not, if you touch his plate, he's not gonna eat from it. Yeah, I ain't gonna do that. Because, like, this. It's time, brother. Okay, I have the cheese enchilada. There we go, now we're getting a little Wait, wait, Jorge, <laughs> what was the name of this? Uh, pollo cilantro. And I have the pollo cilantro signature dish here at Blue Coyote, all right? Let's Put see. some rice on Just top like for a spite. Luscious fish. Honey, mm. and the sauce is... Whoa, that's mm. fire, yo. This oh. fish is hitting, son. I don't know what type of ocean it was swimming in, but it was going. But I'm winning with this, with this cilantro chicken right here. You enjoy. Love you. Thank you. There's anything I can do for you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Oh Thank my you. gosh. The chicken is cooked perfectly. Same with the fish. Nice and tender in the middle. Yo. Tastes delicious. It just crumbles in your mouth. Immaculate. It's like a triple ducker bus, bro. I don't even know if they have that, but that's what it tastes like. There's just so many flavors packed in one. And this cheese enchilada, the cheese is just so cheesy and gooey. Also very flavorful. Yes. And the and the rice. Now that I'm like digging in, I can tell how like they cook the chicken. So basically, they stuff it with the spices and the onions and stuff. And then they roll it up. Oh, keep going. It's and then they the roll it up. And then that then they cut it in like little what do you call the like the little cubes? No, that would be circles because they roll it. Whatever that is. So like in every bite you get flavor. Well, okay, so they have that in Puerto Rico or not? Is not that like a this. mostly Mexican food? I have dish? got to tell you that in Puerto Rico, like, yeah, we have Mexican food, but like. Doesn't hit the same. No, there's some places that are good, but like this. These beans? The beans? What about the beans, bro, bro? They just beans, so they got that bad. They're also full of flavor. <laughs> oh, okay. What kind of flavor? The rice is hitting. Very, like, oh, creamy. Man. Almost like a gravy. Definitely a cilantro centered dish. So, cilantro is not your thing. Throw it. But if you like cilantro, honey, this is fire. Come this way. <laughs> Yo, whoever caught them, bruh, <laughs> thank you for your service, son. Perfect peel apart. Lemon adds a great kick. The rice has its own flavor. Spices like in it. Mm -hmm. I caught the wave. Food is fire. <laughs> Very worth the trip. Next to a waterfall. Life is good, bro. Real quick. I don't know if you still do this. The driving, how much you would drive for this food? Oh, yeah, I could. We could bring it back right Listen, now. Listen, right now. Throw it back. I would come back to Palm Springs to eat here. Like, I'm gonna dream about Disclaimer. this. Disclaimer. But I love this food right here. Ambiance, on point. Service, fantastic. Margaritas, cheers. Like, Ooh. oh, it has something on top. What is that thing? Oh, Green pepper. pepper. Green pepper vibes on top. A little skirt steak. I don't know if that's a skirt steak. Yeah, that's but... what it looks like. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. No more, please. Oh, and they got a little enchilada in here. Oh, I haven't had that. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. So good. Come Chris, over here. Hey, come, come in here. the camera, Chris. Right you know the vibes, bro. What happened? What's up? Oh, you, have you to know, go down just, a little bit? Yeah, just, you know, we rolling, so I had to get you on camera. Yeah, <laughs> and you have... It's fire so out honestly, here. this um, cilantro chicken situation... Right. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty what good, is, huh? What is the uh, creamy sauce good. that's on, on top of it? Oh, that's the jalapeno sauce? Mmm. Oh. It's a jalapeno sauce, so that sauce, I could eat it by itself with some chips. Oh my God. Yes, yes, I'm yeah, telling bro. you, I'm telling you. Jeez, the wow. fish is next level too. I'm a big fish guy, bro. I'm really? rocking with that heavy, bro. Yeah. Fire, bro. It's and good. actually, I'm going to tell you guys the truth. But you guys came, you guys gave me a different vibe. Oh, oh man. Yeah. That was, I was like, you know what? I'm happy now, you know? Oh, that, that makes me so happy. I love to hear that, bro. No, yeah. actually, and, and. Yeah. But this then you guys came around too. and I was like, all right. Feeling the vibe, you know? I'm sorry. Good, bro. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. that, bro. No, yeah. no problem. If you guys need anything, just let me know, okay? So okay, thank you. No, no problem, guys. All right, so we kicked out Miles, and yep. we like this place so much. We don't need him to end this series because this place was good on its own. So me and you, we're about to tell you, come to Blue Coyote right here, Blue yes. Coyote Bar and Grill. On if you're looking Springs. for authentic Mexican cuisine. This is your place. Good salsa, sabor, good chips, good meals, good margaritas, good music, good ambiance, good vibes all around. So stop by and we out.